What is going on everyone and welcome back to another water hopping episode. Before we get to today's video, the darling is over there just laughing at me. We are doing an unboxing video today folks and it is a very exciting one. Today I am unboxing the Malliard 4 inch tri-fold mattress and basically it's like a camper mattress on the go type bed that you can fold, stow, use. Today I'm just going to be opening this up for you guys, showing you my first impressions of it. Going to throw it in the truck real quick, see how it looks. Confession, I did order two of these and we opened one yesterday. They say to give it at least 24 to 48 hours to let the mattress fully expand. So this one when we take it out is going to look kind of flapjacky. Let's do the less exciting one first. <laughs> it's kind of funny if this isn't even what I think it is, but this should be the cases carrying cases. Look at, look at all this. Why did I put so much? All right, so right here we have the Malliard. Doesn't say anything else. It's just a Malliard carrying case. All right, there. So we will open that up now. Nice bag. Got a heavy duty zipper right here. Oh, that runs really smooth. Nice zipper, handles on both sides. Seems like a good case. We'll find out when we actually throw the mattress in it though. This right here is the Molliard four inch tri-fold sleeper mattress basically. And it was described as a firm feel. You can get the six inch version, but they don't make a space saver option in the six inch memory foam. The smallest you can get width wise, I believe with six inch was 31 inches. And this one is 25 inches wide by 75 inches long and four inches thick. So when you open up the box, it comes with this little rolled up deal here. You're still laughing at me. You know, at some point you talked enough, you're gonna have to make an appearance now or else they're gonna think I'm talking to a ghost. Get it right here, comes out like a big old cylinder. So you might be a little nervous at first because it's listed as a four inch foam mattress. I'm actually gonna open this up and you guys will see just how fast it opens and inflates. Get this open up here and you guys can relieve your anxiety a little bit when you see me start opening this up. It's kind of like magic. You can hear it. Listen to that. Look at that. It's like a meaty. Okay. Pull that plastic. Yep. Okay. Now lay that plastic down for me again. Beautiful. Thank you, sweetheart. So you fold it like that, and then like that. Oh, look at that. And there you have it, folks. Now we will take it out to the truck and show you guys how it looks when it's actually in the truck. Yeah. Normally, I'd have two videos for you guys today. Went out kayak fishing this morning, and uh, yeah, nothing happened there. We're here to save the day and uh, show you guys this stellar unboxing video. If you guys are interested in this build or this drawer or anything like that, I'm doing a build video very soon. It's coming out very soon. Full build, start to finish, how I did this, and with the help of Steve, my fiance, Caitlin's dad, he helped me along the way with this, and I just think it turned out absolutely awesome. I wanna share it with you guys. This is my uh, Toilet Tacoma, six foot bed. Uh, the bed actually comes out to like 73 inches. These mattresses are 75 inches, so you guys can see how the math doesn't quite work there. I'm going to take this quick stuff that I have on the top here out, and I'm going to show you guys how it looks with one for when I'll be doing my sleeping in here solo, and then I'll show you guys how it looks with both panels side by side. I actually haven't even seen this yet myself, so pretty stoked to see how this looks, to be honest with you guys. All right, come along. Right like, ain't that sick? That's just sick. I just finished it like five days ago, so I'm still just super stoked about it. So one thing to note, let's grab the camera here, show you guys a little bit better perspective. So, just put the mattress in. You guys can see right here, this is the mattress. This is the one I opened yesterday. I figured this would be the better one to throw in the truck because this one's had the full, well, at this point it's had 24 hours, not the full 48 like they said, but it's had 24 hours to open up a little bit. You can see how it fits in the truck. I actually was slightly worried when I got it because 
The mattress is technically a 75 inch mattress and my bed is only 73 and a half inches. Actually, it, it, the theory proved good. I kind of figured that that extra inch and a half would just make this sit. Like you guys can, I'm not yanking on it, but that ain't going anywhere. And that's just because that extra inch and a half, which comes out to 0.75 inches on each side, that difference is enough that it was basically enough that it was able to hold this mattress in place. And actually I was a little worried about wiggling with the mattress and whatnot, but this looks great, folks. It is gonna be a little bigger with both of them than I wanted. Preferably, each mattress would have been 24 or 22 inches wide. I know that's kind of crazy, but 25 is totally fine. Reason being, I have these hatches on the side and I wanted to keep access to them, so we might need to play around with this a little bit and uh, we'll just see how it goes. So now we'll uh, throw the second one up in there and see how they look side by side. Just wanted to show you guys how it looks up close. Looks really good and it's super plush, like really, really comfy. Super comfy, guys. Do those tags bug you as much as it bugs me? Have they been like creeping out and just giving you guys like an OCD thing? Because every time I see them, I gotta tuck them. Hate tags. Be cutting those off real soon. All right, second one. Come on down. Okay, that is gonna do just fine. Let's try this puppy out. Oh yeah. So, wow, that's like way comfy. I'm not even bottoming out. In case you guys are curious, I weigh like 205. Gary. This is an absolute wonderful investment. If you guys enjoyed this video, this unboxing video, if you guys want to see more of these, I can just unbox anything I ever buy. I'll just show it to you guys on camera if this is something you guys get into. These mattresses are worth their weight in gold for me already and I haven't even spent the night on it yet. I can just tell. And if I'm not bottoming out on it, we are not gonna have zero issues with the Darlin. I was concerned that she would not be comfortable this is just fantastic, guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, subscribe to the channel for more. There's a jet flying overhead because we live really close to O'Hare Airport. And uh, yeah, subscribe to the channel. Drop a comment what you guys thought about the video, what mattresses you guys currently use or are thinking about using, or if this video helped you guys decide on buying this mattress. Like I said earlier, I'm gonna link all the mattress, the mattress carrying case, and why not? I'm just gonna include the sheets that I bought as well. We're gonna link them as like a little trifecta package deal in the description showing you guys what I paid for them all together for both mattresses, both carrying cases, and two sets of sheets, because keep in mind, I'm doing this all twice. It came out to like $230. So if you're gonna do it for just one person, you're pretty much gonna spend about 115 bucks. Worth its weight in gold in my opinion, and the best part about it is it folds up, put it in the case, put it in the back seat, open up the whole bed again for whatever you need to do. Everything is optional, and that was a hugely important thing for me, keeping everything optional. So yeah, if you're wondering about comfort, way comfortable. If you're wondering about feasibility, like ease of transport, super nice. Carrying case, worth it, buy it. And uh, yeah, that's all I have to say, guys. Go get yourself a uh, milliard four inch uh, trifold comfort sleeping pad. They're wonderful. As always, guys, keep water hopping. And I'll see you soon. I'm not gonna hit the camera. I'm really comfy and I'm relaxed, so. I think I'm just gonna try snoozing again. Have a good one, folks. Be safe and keep water hopping. Yeah.